The first year was absolutely perfect and I thought this guy was my soulmate. He was so sweet and romantic and caring and fun. That's probably why when this shit started I let it slide and just assumed I was overreacting. Because my soulmate would never have bad intentions. Would he? He decided to take up photography and photo editing as a hobby and he would always ask to take photos of me. When he'd show me the final edited results, he had always photoshopped my face. Made my nose smaller. Made my eyes and lips bigger. Made my hair longer. Etc. Anybody who knew me could see that was not my face and he was not just touching up the photos. He even used one of them as his phone lock screen. I told him he wasn't allowed to take any more pictures of me if he was going to edit them into oblivion. And my face is already perfectly fine and doesn't need enhancements. He got defensive and said he was just practicing on Photoshop. He agreed to stop. But then he started accusing me of editing my photos. Like I'd post a photo on Instagram and he'd say you said you don't like Photoshop so why did you edit the picture you just posted? Where is the bump in your nose? When I hadn't done anything besides brighten them. He would constantly tell me that his ex-wife was bisexual and how hot it was. He would push me to say I was bisexual too. Like if I ever mentioned how pretty another woman was he would ask if I was into her, and then say see, you are a little bi. I felt like I was boring and vanilla, and he kept badgering me about it. So eventually when he said would you ever mess around with another woman, I said I don't know, maybe if the situation arose. He ended up making me a W4W Tinder profile, and started talking to all of these women as me. Then, he told me that he set up a date with a woman from the app and she was going to come over for drinks that night and he was going to listen from the downstairs bedroom. I felt really uncomfortable, both because of him spying and because I am not attracted to women. I told him to cancel it and he said it would be fine and I'd probably like it. She came over and we hung out and watched a movie. I didn't make a move on her and she didn't make a move on me. When she left, my boyfriend complained that we were boring and he fell asleep during our date. I told him to delete the app and he said he would just use it to chat from now on because he didn't have many friends in our city and it was nice to talk to new people. I told him to delete the app or we were finished and he finally did. I hate anal sex. I told my boyfriend on many occasions that I hate it and it's not on the menu. Anyway, his friends offered to get us some GHB for fun. I took some when we were at a club I'm not a recreational drug user at all but I wanted to fit in. He didn't take any but he was drinking a lot. I was super impaired and apparently really horny. I asked my boyfriend if we could go home to have sex and he got us a cab. On the way, I said you can do anything you want to me. Blah blah. Dirty talking. I woke up the next day with no memory, and my ass was really sore. I asked what happened and he said we did anal. I told him I hate anal and he said no you loved it. You were begging for it. I told him if I did love it it's because I was impaired and literally blacked out and he said you're making it sound like you were unconscious. You were totally conscious and into it. I put it to the back of my brain because I had told him we could do what he wanted. But it really hurts me to think that the only thing he wanted to do was something I hated and wouldn't ever say yes to if I was sober. He already had an adult kid. And when we started dating I specifically asked if he was open to having another because I wanted one. He said yes. Then, after we got engaged two years later. He told me that he didn't actually want any more. I told him I needed some time to think about whether I wanted to get married, because this was very important to me and I felt betrayed that had told at the start of our relationship that he was on board. A few days later he changed his tune and said you know, I was thinking and I realized I'm okay with having another child, with the right woman and the wedding was back on. However, that last part was a total thorn in my side. If I ever upset him or disagreed with him, he would quickly say I thought you were the right woman but now I'm not so sure. I don't know if I should have kids with you. He decided to take a completely unnecessary vacation to California to visit his friends during the height of the pandemic to go to a Halloween party. He didn't quarantine in California or when he returned to Massachusetts despite both states requiring it, and his party certainly broke the lockdown rules. I told him I didn't want him to go, and he told me I'm not asking you to come so it's none of your business. I told him he was being selfish and unsafe and he told me I was being a judgmental rude brat who thought I was better than everyone. He went on the trip and ghosted me for six days when he was down there. When I finally got a hold of him, he told me to stop bothering him because I was ruining his vacation and that he doesn't respect me anymore. I started crying, so he held on to that I don't respect you line for future fights because he knew it was a winner. He started tracking my location on an app and would question me when I left my apartment without mentioning it to him first. I finally figured out what was happening and he responded by accusing me of going out to fuck other guys and being a lie. 
cheating waste of time. He then refused to answer the phone while I desperate tried to call him. The next day, he called to beg for forgiveness. He said he was drunk and depressed in lockdown and his ex-wife had cheated and he was traumatized by that. My clown ass agreed to take him back as long as he went to therapy. He went twice and then stopped because he didn't like his therapist. He offered to show me sex videos photos of his ex, just out of the blue one day. I told him that keeping those was so disrespectful to both me and her, and asked if she would be happy to know he still has those. He got so mad and told me we can talk about this when you calm down and stop being so judgmental. You don't get to call me disrespectful. They're just in my cloud and I barely think about them and ignored me until I apologized for my outburst except to inform me that he deleted all his photos of me instead of her since it's so disrespectful to have them. I did apologize ugh omg for assuming the worst and he made a big production about deleting them to appease my insecurity. He refused to discuss anything over text. He had said some mean, inappropriate things over text and when I brought it up, he denied it. When I referred to his text to show him, he got angry and said I couldn't let anything go. After that, if I wanted to discuss anything that wasn't sexting or memes, he refused to answer unless I called him. I would text him to ask a question about the wedding or a house we were looking at or something he said and he would say we can talk about this on the phone. It didn't matter if I was busy or at work or anything. Once he banned me from texting him for a week because I relied on it too much and if I wanted to talk to him I had to call. I didn't call for a day and he got pissed about that and accused me of not wanting to talk to him. He told me I needed to see a therapist for my mental issues because I was constantly upset with him I wonder why. He told me I probably had borderline personality disorder. And I reminded him of his crazy ex-wife. And he didn't want to marry another crazy person so I had to get it sorted out. I made a therapy appointment and he gave me a huge list of my issues that he wanted me to fix. Things like how insecure I was. How I got mad when he talked about his past aka him talking about his sex life with his ex-wife. How judgmental I was for being upset about his trip. How I never gave him the benefit of the doubt. My therapist was horrified and told me that this relationship was toxic and I should leave. I didn't. I asked him one day to stop speaking so poorly of his second ex-wife he did it constantly. And he told me to stop being insecure. I asked if he had treated her like he treated me. Because if he did I couldn't blame her for acting crazy. He said no. We argue because we have so much passion. I never had passion with her. Ask her yourself and literally gave me her email. So, I emailed her. I didn't give her any personal details. I just asked if she had experienced the same constant arguing that I was and what I could do to fix it. She sent me back an incredibly kind, long and revealing response in which she word for word recounted exactly the same treatment I had been getting. Only worse. I asked why he had lied to me and he yelled at me and said I shouldn't have been stupid enough to think he was serious when he told me to email her and called her a liar except she wasn't lying. She knew nothing about our situation and yet wrote an email that I could have written myself. He then told me I had mental issues again, and I said how dare you say that to me. He told me I was overreacting and I said I'm not. It's an incredibly cruel and dismissive thing to say that I have mental issues because I am questioning your behavior. He then said I never said you had mental issues. I said you were overreacting and that I had misheard him. Anyway, I left him and cancelled everything. And a few weeks later he emailed me to tell me that his friends had been asking what happened and when he told them. They couldn't believe how abusive and controlling I was and how he was better off without me. The entire last eight months of our relationship after we got engaged are just him calling me names, ghosting me, gaslighting me and lying to me. I have 100 more examples but these are just the ones that really stick with me and make me feel like an insane person for not dumping him immediately. It's been a few weeks since he last emailed me and I oscillate between relieved that I didn't go through with the wedding and sick to my stomach that he still doesn't see the issue with anything he did or said. And some other poor girl probably one who's half his age like I was. And like his ex-wife was is going to be dealing with this in a few weeks or months. I used to have such good self-esteem. I can't believe I put up with this.